let's look at what happened. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the housing bubble. Now, everybody says that the housing bubble is what caused this whole collapse. And I would not argue with that point. There was absolutely a bubble in housing. Look at the structure. This graph right here shows you house pricing from the 1970 through about a year ago. Now, anyone looking at that that doesn't see an aberration, <laughs> uh, maybe you need to get your eyes examined. That's obviously an aberration. The question is, where did it come from? What caused it? Because we're not looking at uh, just an increase in activity. We're looking at an increase in prices. And we're not just looking at an increase in prices that were unmet. We're looking at an increase in prices that were met. In other words, these are closed sales. These are sales that took place. These are completed transactions uh, that drove these prices to these heights. Where did the money come from? What drove the aberration? People who can't afford things don't put this much money in the system. Right? <laughs> Something else put that money in the system, which we're going to talk about. This is what put the money in the system. What is this? This is a graph that shows part of that same timeline, focusing particularly from 1999 uh, through, through the end of 2009. But we're seeing the same curve, the same acceleration, particularly between 05 and 07, that was on this guy. Same basic spike. Same basic spike, same time. This is a look at the global derivatives market. And look at how high it got. See the number on the far left at the top of the scale? 700,000? Until you look over there and realize it's 700,000 billion, also known as. $700 trillion. Hmm. It's a pretty big number, huh? Who can tell me what's the global GDP right now? Approximately. What's the global GDP? Come on, somebody jump out there. These are econ students. The gross number. Anybody? Come on. Very close. Very close. Even closer. 70 trillion. There we go. <laughs> and the prize goes to 70 trillion. Now think about that. This market is 10 times the size of the global GDP. Wow. How's that for making money for money? You can't even support this value with real goods and services exchanged on the whole planet in one year. So where did the money come from? 